Well, it's very exciting to be here. And I hear more women saying there's momentum towards these topics than I've heard in my entire life. And I'm hearing it from women who I think are realists as well as optimists. And so that makes the evening even better. At Mozilla, we're a nonprofit organization, a global community of people who are working to build a layer of the internet that is a global public resource, open and accessible to all. We see this as a complement to the economic forces online, which are important and drive value and innovation. We build a layer of the internet that is focused on all the things that you do and all the things that human beings and society value that are different from spending money. So we see this as an important complement. We build our products with this in mind. We build our other programs with this in mind. And that includes web literacy, open science, open data, open government. Recently, we have begun to focus explicitly and increasingly on bringing our focus and assets to encouraging women and girls in technology. And at Mozilla, because we are a community-based, volunteer-driven organization in many of our programs, we do this through grassroots programs. Grassroots teaching, grassroots advocacy, supported by the Mozilla resources. And we have found, wherever we go, it's clear from the tech showcase here, there's talent, there's hunger, and there's dedication to learning, to innovation, everywhere, as a trait of the human species. And so we find that women are eager, are interested, given opportunities, take them up, and can do things that are quite remarkable. This has been both a journey for Mozilla and for me personally. We're focused on this now in part because Mozilla has the ability to do so. We have a leadership team that allows me to look outward and look into broader programs. And we have the global facilities and communities that allow us to be supportive. And personally, you know, I am quite astonished. 20 years ago, if I had looked up and realized at the end of this 20 years, I would still be within a tiny handful of women founders of global technology organizations, I would be astonished. Yet it's the case. In fact, I'm not, I'm not really sure who else I would name uh, in there. So it's a small handful, and it is not something that I'm proud of or that I enjoy. And so it's also clear that focus and attention is really important, and it's clear that people flourish and benefit when they see themselves in the world, when they see role models, and when programs and opportunities are tuned for their needs. That's true of women, it's true of almost any demographic you can imagine. And so we're very excited at Mozilla to be at a space where we can do more tuning and focus on the women and girls, where there are Mozilla volunteers on a global basis, eager and waiting and actually going out and doing things already. Um, many times at Mozilla we find it's, it's a question of giving permission. The people in the world who want to do something useful, if there's an organization that has credibility and says that's valuable, go do it, things happen. And so we try to raise that flag as Mozilla, raise the Mozilla flag and say, if you are interested in empowering women and girls, and you think there's something that Mozilla can do to help you, then please let us know. We certainly don't claim to be the experts. We're relatively new in this field. We do know some things about the internet. We do know some things about technology. We have an increasingly fierce focus about women and girls and empowerment and rights. And so we are thrilled to be here tonight, to be able to sponsor and assist the GemTech Initiative and the individual award winners, and thrilled to be able to join you and to offer whatever Mozilla has to bring to this effort into your hands for you to let us know if and how and when we can be more helpful. Thank you.